welcome to India's leading breeding operation. Usher is the only 100% commercial and the most successful stud in India for the last four decades. Already winner of more than 300 Group 1s, Usher was founded in 1972 by the legendary Major P. K. Mehra and has been run successfully since 1998 by his daughter Amita Mehra. Usher has a broodmare strength of 90 mares spread over three stud farms in Haryana and in Delhi. It is the home of the sensational young sire Multidimensional, who produced in March 2014 Usher's seven homebred Group 1 winners. Alan Dare, the winner of the India Invitation, and Amelia, who won the major PK Mera Supermile, amongst others. I watched him race, and I studied his pedigree, and I found there were a lot of interesting nicks with him and Razin. Razin, I have a lot of uh, 60 Razin mares, and I found that multidimensional's pedigree um, with Dane Hill, Northern Dancer, Danzig, Northern Dancer, and Razin is a direct son of Northern Dancer. There seemed to be a great nick. Also, I have Steinbeck, a second stallion, lots of mares by Steinbeck, who's by Mr. Prospector. And multidimensional had both um, blood in his pedigree. He, on the, on the top side, sire side, he has Northern Dancer. And on the bottom side, his fourth dam, is um, a half-sister to Mr. Prospector. So I found that the nick with my my fillies was amazing and he was a beautifully conformed, absolute character of a horse, something that made me um, feel that he had a lot of presence and that extra special quality. And I think um, he is the only stallion ever to stand in India that has eight individual classic winners to his credit in the first season. Multidimensional was sent for training to Sir Henry Cecil by his breeders, the Niarchos family. Multidimensional conquered France at three-year-old in the Prix Guillaume Donano at Group 2 over 10 furlongs in Deauville. Despite a fracture and almost a full year away from the track, he was able to come back to top level winning the Rose of Lancaster Stakes, Group 3 at Haydock. They run down towards the final furlong, multi-dimensional, trying to fend off the attentions of Bahia Breeze, multi-dimensional, just hanging over towards the stand rail. Must be a length and a half clear of Bahia Breeze second, three or four lengths to Spanish Moon and Flying Clarets, multi-dimensional staying on in front of Bahia Breeze, multi-dimensional will take the Rose of Lancaster. Also fourth in the Irish Champion Stakes, less than two lengths behind New Approach, Multidimensional proved by his successful comeback that he had a very strong temperament, also a real fighting spirit as well as a good turn of foot. Multidimensional was crowned champion freshman sire and champion first crop sire. With his first progeny born in 2010, he produced winners of three Group 1 races in the summer 2013. Phillies Trial Stakes, Colt Trial Stakes, and the summer Bangalore Derby. Also six bar group one wins in the winter season. Thanks to Amelia and Alan Dare, Multidimensional was first and second in the Indian Derby, as well as in the Calcutta Derby, including winning the High Parabad and Bangalore Oaks and other derbies. Entering home to victory, it's no drift who wins the Calcutta Everetti Derby Stakes in great style for Martissia. Three weeks later, Alan Dare and Starry Eyes made a 1-2 in India's biggest contest, the Indian Derby, beating Mumbai all-time track record. The same Alan Dare won a new group one in March, the famous Invitation Cup, which was held at Hyderabad in 2014. It was a glorious day for multidimensional. He triumphed with his daughter Amelia, the Phillies champion stakes winner in the Major P.K. Mera Super Cup Mile, Grade 1, a race named in the honour of Amita Mera's late father. But Amelia wins the Super Mile! Multidimensional's daughters are very successful, as well as the Colts. On the classic distance, striking won the Calcutta Oaks. This day she beat Artesia, another multidimensional filly who earned her glory on the same racetrack in the Calcutta 1000 Guineas. It's going to be the outstation challenger striking by about a length here from the fast finishing and split uh, Artesia, but striking wins again. It's these champions that keep Usher stood at the top level, 
Ush has won the all-time Indian record of breeding 13 Indian Derby winners, the highest number any farm has bred in the world. Out of the 13 Indian Derbies, seven were won when Amita was managing the stud farm. Usher's tally stands at more than 305 classic winners, which it has produced in the shortest time in Indian turf history. Greg Gaston it was by Fortino, and he was a French horse. And Greg Gaston produced the first foal that my father produced by bred by himself, called Manny Two. Manny Two won the Indian Derby by 10 lengths. No horse till date has ever won the Indian Derby by 10 lengths. And that's how my father started the farm. And he went from uh, success to success to success. And from starting in a home, in a small bungalow with large garden and stables, he built the Usha Stad farm, which is now over 400 acres of land. Amit Amira studied in Ireland at the National Stud, receiving the gold medal for her thesis how to select a stallion, and in the United States at Lexington, Kentucky. She studied equine nutrition with the famous Joe Pagan of Kerr. She started her career at Usher in 1992, training with her father. Amita chose the champion stallion multidimensional and put all her efforts into developing the best broodmare band in India. Her sales policy is transparent and she puts each and every horse up for sale to whomsoever wishes to purchase them. All my horses are for sale. This is the, probably the only stat farm in India where everything is for sale, so everybody feels they have a fair chance to buy a top horse from here. We have a very special tradition in Usha. We have a horse darshan, a horse parade, every day in all the three locations of the stat farm. Every horse is brought to the pavilion and is shown one by one by our staff. And I am there, my managers are there, or my vets are there, my farrier is present, the feed man is present. Everybody sits under either a tree or a pavilion and each horse is brought as a parade. And the horse looks at me, I look at the horse. So this is a, this is a practice that in today's age is almost unheard of because people don't have the staff to bring them. But we continue that and are probably we're the only stud farm in the world, I would say, certainly in India, that is doing that. In order to work on the broodmare lines over generations, Usher leases 10 to 15 of their best fillies for their racing career. When retiring to stud, the farm trades one of the broodmare's first two-year-olds to the leaser. The most recent example is Moonlight Romance, the only filly in history to have won three classics. Bangalore Derby, the Indian Derby and the Invitation Cup in a row. Here with her first filly by Multidimensional, Usher also owns top broodmare like Yana, Ambrosia and Font Fantasy with a filly by Multidimensional. All those three mares are by Ratzine. Also there is the imported Darwia by the US top sire Elusive Quality. To maintain the highest level of services, Usher employs a large team also produces its own feed, including Lucerne. The Gnostic Center is the passion of Amita's life. There she practices three principles of true education as envisaged by Sri Aurobindo. She spends time in quiet reflection and meditation. The center has a nursery school and offers many programs and facilities to the community at large. It is located within the stud farm. The traditions of Indian spirituality and the horse are synthesized and, and welded together in a way to transform the kind of horse we produce and to transform our, our farm.